Ready, set, show! Give me your awesome art, man. Look at that. There it is. What it... <laughs> this episode is totally uh, based off of one of our previous episodes. So, you might remember at one point, we dehydrated a bunch of weird foods. Yes. Flashback to that episode. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. Ah, I hate pickles. <laughs> I hate pickles. Oh, Flashback in. And uh, during that, I mentioned a weird food combination that yes. I liked. You mentioned a weird food combination you yes, liked. Yes, I did. And then we asked you guys to tell us about weird food combos that you like. And you guys are fiends. Yeah. You're monsters, and I don't know why you decided, like, how did you find out? Anyway, we'll get into it. I don't know how you figured out you like some of these mm -hmm. things. No judgment, because mine's a little weird as well. Do you want to start with ours? We're going to start with ours first. The one I brought up is um, apple pie yep. and cheddar cheese. Okay, I've heard it with American cheese, like a, a Kraft Single yep, yep. cheese product. There you go. And those are, that's a healthy coverage of uh, I I normally didn't do there. that with this much cheese, but tis the season. It's always season for apple pie, but the real season is probably in the fall. It's so nice I, and, I mean, I don't it's know nice and warm too. I'm, I'm gonna cut off I want a good bite, because you want some apples and you want some, you gotta get some of that crust in there too. Yeah, oh, yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna Okay, so I scooped Ooh, off this part, bite. and now I want some of the crust. Wow, okay. We're trying both of ours. Um, obviously, I mean, I know what I like, but then we're also gonna try four of the ones that you guys suggested, and we'll see how they rank. Bite. Here it goes. Mmm. Hit me with the apples. It's pie forward. Mm. Oh, hold on. And the hold cheese, on. it's very subtle. It's actually, it's way more subtle than you oh, think yeah, it'd man. be. Oh yeah, man. Despite- oh! The cheese is sneaking in there. It's pretty good. I'm gonna, ah. I'm, I'm gonna get one with more cheese. I'm freaking out over this. I got my new breakfast plan. This is, this is great. If you haven't done this, I know it sounds weird. It's definitely worth trying though, because it just works. The cheese has a little bit of saltiness to it, a little mm. bit of savoriness, and then you mix it with an apple pie, which is good in every sense. Oh yeah, and it's great. It's awesome. Yeah. So the one that you were talking about uh -huh. involved. Go for it, Trevor. But these are little baby fish sticks. As a kid, I always took my fish sticks with a nice side of applesauce. This one's a question mark. I haven't had this one in years, and I'm a little excited. How did you honest. used to do it? What was your technique? Well, I think what happened was I had my fish sticks come sa, and then I had my applesauce over here. And like, the applesauce just droops out. <laughs> then I learned, I was like, I'm, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat the contaminated fish stick. It was good. So then, later on, I would always request, follow me, cameraman, you see this? Oh boy. I always, I always just, just went straight in. I just kind of went straight in and really hoop, really scooped All in. right, so you're just scooping. Mm hmm Okay. I haven't had a fish stick in a long time. I feel like I've gone heavy. No, that's good. That's weird, but it's really not bad Yeah, at all. I know, right? I, this was a huge question mark so, for me. So the, here's the thing. Got to make sure these are nice and hot, fresh out of the oven. Yeah. Make sure this is nice and cold, these fresh cool, out of the fridge. These have cooled a little bit. Because that's, that is one of the key components is the mm. juxtaposition of temperatures. Brilliant. That yeah, the flavor really is good. also quite subtle. It's a, it's a little sweet and a little savory here, and then uh, the temperature difference is the main component that we're missing today. A serving but... size is a fifth of this thing. That's a lot of applesauce. <laughs> Trevor, holy crap. That's a lot. That is an apple's worth of applesauce that you just took down. <sighs> Those were our combinations, yeah. all right? Those are the ones we brought up in the episode. So we're a little biased. So you guys went nuts in the comments. And when mm. I say nuts, I mean nuts, okay? I'm I'm beginning to think, Jeremy, that there was a, um, a conspiracy happening where they were just kind of making things up that were nasty. I don't think they were actually liking these things. So here's the way I selected these. Mm -hmm. I selected four. I went for ones that legitimately seemed like people enjoyed the combination. They weren't just yeah. saying two foods. Right. So that we'd eat them, yes. because you guys are menaces. Several of them had replies in which people agreed what? that they enjoyed them. We're gonna start with one that I think makes a, a little bit of sense here. A little sense? Because you're mixing fruit with fruit. It's just not the fruit oh, you Oh, okay, think. yeah. So strawberries, everyone loves a good strawberry. Especially when they're unwashed. Right, we haven't, we haven't rinsed these. I like pesticides. It's highly recommended. So this one is from Irony the Goddess, who says, dipping strawberries in guacamole. Now, right. uh, okay, okay. Avocados are fruit. Like, these are hand-dipped strawberries, man. Just in guacamole instead of chocolate. Scoob it a scop. Like, it makes... <laughs> <sighs> like, it makes sense, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna really... give it a fair try. Well... 
I like the colors that's happening right in front of it's my eyes. It's festive. This could be a Christmas thing. It could be. And let's test it. Yeah. Think of think of the holidays, and then think of just and then ooh oh to dually Christmas. Oh. Okay. Okay. It's a bit odd. Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yeah. That's weird. Let me get into something with this. Yeah, go for it. <laughs> both of both of ours, I feel like they sort of became one. Like the applesauce yeah. came first, the fish that kind of came after, but then they turned into this great flavor of fish. It was fish a beautiful and fruit, dance of was, flavors. Yes, a marriage of taste. This one started guacamole. Yes, very, very strong guacamole. Yeah, yeah. Like salty. You could taste the ingredients. Yes. Like, because this one's really emulsified. Like, yeah, you can't yeah, yeah. see the onion or anything, but it's in there. Um, and then it became strawberry, and I don't think they ever had a point where they were one. No, that that was a, the- I'm a, double dipping. That's fine. That was a harsh uh, argument and a divorce right there at the end. And, I, and honestly, it was a little poetic in, in the mm. way that they battled it out in the middle. I don't know what I'm getting at. Basically, I think, <laughs> I think if you like strawberries and you like guac, you will get a little bit of both you separately. You might like this. In the same bite. Yeah. That was, uh, that was, uh, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't, it's not something I'm gonna choose to do. I'm not gonna revisit these, yeah. these holiday treats. So that one can go away. Okay, so we've got pizza, which was warmed up. Okay. A while ago. You wanna throw away the part that no one ever eats. Yeah. The worthless part. And keep this. Keep the crust. So, uh, this was suggested by someone who, uh, they oh. say that this is what they do at the end of their pizza experience. Okay. So they're left with just the crust, and yeah. there's some people who don't like the crust. I love the crust, personally. What they do, and again, this is one of those ones that people were agreeing with. Who okay. Who said this one? No Gucci. That was No Gucci, <laughs> and I'm gonna suspect, I suspect that this is No Gucci. We're gonna try they it They say anyway. they take their crust after they're done with their pizza, and they dip it in soda. Especially Dr. Pepper. They say that was the best one. You're a Dr. Pepper man? A doctor a day keeps the, the, yeah. the doctor away. Yeah. <laughs> Dr. Day keeps the apple away. Don't worry, that'll come up later. We have an apple one. Oh, I love apples. All right. Ooh, it How many fizzes. Mississippis? <clears throat> All right. Yeah, you see, you're also killing the, the vibe of the soda. Now you're making brown sugar water with no bubs. What is it? It's really one? hissing at us. Yeah. It's like it's cooking it. Well, there's a lot more surface area for the <laughs> bubbles to aerate. That really brought the animal out of the Dr. Pepper there. Okay, that's like eating Dr. Pepper. Because the hmm. bread kind of goes away, and it gets atomically replaced by the pet. But you mostly taste the cherry if you've had a Dr. Pepper. So what ends up happening is you eat it, it tastes like Dr. Pepper, but the cherry's what lingers, you see what I mean? And they have a cherry Dr. Pepper too, don't they? Which is just redundant. <laughs> it's just like chewing on Dr. Pepper. I mean, I'm going back for another one. I, I wonder how different this would be if it was fresh, like that crust that really gives. Yeah. Um, I don't know if that would make it super different. This pizza's from a couple days I'll ago. I'll be honest though, I do like the, the tough texture of the sourdough bread going on here. Mm. You know, it's got that hard rind to it, and it is old, but if it was like, you know, Papa John's, the father's got some soft crust. This has some merit. I'm totally about this, actually. It does have that initial blast of, of Dr. Pepper. Mm -hmm. And like, you know, you eat your pizza and drink Dr. Pepper. A lot of people do yeah. that. This just got- uh, Just cut out the middle, man. Just do it exactly. in the mouth. This was suggested by Shad Shack. They say take a green apple. They use the sticker to cover up a brown oh, spot. Oh, that is just horrendous. Oh, the sneaky. Watch this. Look at this. Look, I was like, oh, get let's the get, brand this, in let's there get too. this sticker off of here. Or oh. And that's what you get with organic, everybody. That's where the worm was. Chad Shack was talking all about. They had to do it to you. Putting yellow mustard oh, on your green apple. Oh, no. All right, green apple, yellow mustard. Now, mustard brand mustard. Now, as I've right. already. Proven, yeah. cheese and apple, good, okay. right? Yes. And like my wife's favorite sandwich, grilled cheese with a Granny Smith apple in there. Oh, That's I, her yeah, favorite yeah. sandwich. I've she heard loves those. That. This is just adding a different savory thing to your apples. Yellow mustard, you don't like yellow mustard. I'm not a fan, but with a spicy mustard, in the right circumstance, you know, you maybe got some Polish sausage, sha sausage, sausage. <laughs> and uh, some sauerkraut. I got some Polish sausage. Now I can, I can permit that. Sausage. Just pretend it's a shosh. I'll pretend it's a Polish sausage. Oh, I, that's burnt. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> All right, here we go. <coughs> oh, I hate mustard. That's not you know good what? Enough. You know what? What? 
That's terrible. Yeah, that's awful. That really not good. <coughs> For the final suggestion. Bread. Great this start. was suggested by a ridiculous amount of you. One of the first ones I saw was Lily May. The first ingredient is peanut butter. Oh, oh my favorite combination of peanut butter jelly. The other ingredient, you'll be happy to know, Trevor. Oh, oh hit me with it. Pickles. Um, now, here, why don't you get some peanut butter going? Oh, gladly. Oh, here's our peanut butter knife. Uh, let's see. I left this, actually, I'm gonna. <laughs> I think a serving size is about half a jar. All right, don't go too don't go too hard on it though, because you know we need to we need to taste the combo. If we overrun it with peanut butter, we're not getting anything. I'll be honest. I might just do half a sandwich because you, I'll need the other. You want half the other half as a palate cleanser to, to erase what's been done. And I can see there's a nice coating of peanut butter on the bottom there. I put a little extra. Now I love both of these items. And I'm going just for like this thick corner. Okay. Trevor. I'll see you on the other side, and good luck. I might black this out. All right, here we go. <coughs> oh, man. My eyes are watering. The pickle tang got to my tongue. Peanut butter gotta get in there. Peanut butter gotta cover it up. Get in there, PB! It's game time, PB, get in there! Oh, man. I don't see how anyone could not enjoy that. Oh no. I do know that, Trevor. Oh no. I like filming this show. I, I get it. I really know? don't. The pickles are honest. You see, they got nothing to offer you. If you had nothing in your fridge but pickles, and in your pantry you got some peanut butter and bread, just forego the pickles. All you're doing is dumping sodium into your diet. It's a vegetable, but there's no vitamins listed. It offers you nothing. You know what, Jeremy? I might stick your Cheese pie. You like my top. cheese pie? I like your the cheese, cheese pie. pie. That's my I number think one. Should go up top. Yeah. yeah. The fish stick thing was really good too. Yeah. Fish stick. Yeah. Put the fish sticks with the applesauce. And then yeah, the applesauce. So that's that's our number two. I'm gonna hit him up with the Dr Pepper and a crust. I can agree with that actually. Yeah. I think that even though you hate it, this should go. I'm I'm gonna agree with you. You know what? I At will agree four. with you. I will go with it. And then I think it's obvious that the next one has to be strawberry and guacamole because the last one by far. Is green apples yeah. and yellow mustard. That was horrendous. Yep. That was bad. That was a bad idea. This just didn't become something. Yeah. This one, the uh, the strawberries and the guac weren't bad. I just, I think I have to draw the line somewhere here, <laughs> somewhere here between recommended and not recommended. And this is like, I'm on the fence mostly because if you like pickles, definitely try it. If yep. you don't, you definitely should avoid it. Mm -hmm. I recommend trying that at least once. Yep. Let us know in the comments if you try out any of these and if there's any tweaks you'd make, especially between the hard and soft crust. And then those are worth doing. Big and these time. are our heavy favorites. Yeah. The heavyweight champions. Which we, we always knew that being the case. Yeah. That's why we brought them up. Yeah. So thank you very much for your suggestions. That's great. Uh, there's another thing I saw in the comments happening a lot where some of you guys were giving us interesting drink combinations. Ooh. You know, I, I saw people mixing different non-alcoholic and alcoholic beverages okay. together. Uh, okay. There was a lot of weird combos I saw. We were just going for food in this episode, but if you have weird drink combos that you enjoy, yes. not just like, oh, I want to see you mix milk and toilet water. No, <laughs> like it's stuff that you drink that you enjoy um, that people might think is kind of weird. Yes. Put that in there and we will make sure to try them and do a similar thing where we tell you what is recommended and what we don't think is recommended. Yes. Uh, and again, thank you guys very much for your suggestions. We appreciate that. Yeah, I've actually got a whole list now uh, from all the videos screenshotting all your comments, su suggesting s unique different ideas for different episodes. So keep it up. We'll, we'll eventually get around to them. We have a lot of backlog ideas, but don't, uh, don't be discouraged. We definitely keep track of those and I love hearing all your suggestions. Otherwise, we will see you guys next week right here on Tuesday, and I hope you have a great day. <laughs> I like that I, I didn't even have to see it. I just, I could hear the behind me. <laughs> I gave you a little gust. Yeah, there's a little wind off that I was like, oh, I know what happened over there. Oh, click here, right? Click, click, click right there. Do it. That's our last episode probably. Maybe, hopefully. Who knows what we did. You might have drank pickle juice.